We all hear people refer to or mention the cloud regularly. But what actually is the cloud? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. The cloud in this context is not the things we see floating in the sky, but simply refers to a distributed collection of servers that host software and or infrastructure. Let's look at some cloud examples you may have used. A popular cloud service is Apple's iCloud. If you're using it to store or back up your photos, for example, the photos will be stored on a server in Apple's data centers around the world rather than stored on your iPhone or Mac. The advantage here is you don't need to use up storage space on your device, and if your device breaks or you lose it, you can simply re-download or access the data again using another device connecting to the server or cloud. The data that's stored on the servers in the data center is replicated across multiple servers, so there are many different copies of it. This means if one server storing the data is down or breaks, you can still access your data on another server. This is known as redundancy. Another popular example of the cloud in use is if you use Google Docs, your document will be stored in the cloud, meaning on servers in Google's data center that you connect to over the internet, instead of being stored on your computer or device. This means multiple people in a team can connect to the server and access and edit the document in the cloud, and everyone is able to see the latest version. This wouldn't be possible if the document was just saved locally on your device. The cloud isn't just for storing photos or documents though. Another use of the cloud is gaming. With Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Gaming Service, the games are run on the servers in the data center or in the cloud and stream to your device through the internet without needing to use a console. This allows you to play full console sized games on any device anywhere in the world that would normally not have the specification or power needed to run these games. There are many other uses of the cloud. I have linked below my videos on the different types of cloud computing if you'd like to check those out. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.